Hi tea friends, welcome back to the channel. Happy January, happy new year, and happy 2023. Um, I have a new tea related calendar um, over here. I'll probably just do a close up shot. Just um, a tea themed calendar um, that I got off Amazon actually kind of a while ago. Um, so this one is a Japanese theme for um, this month, which is of course January. Um, there's little um, snippets and stuff, so if you guys want to see a more, um, I guess, in-depth version or review of this calendar, I can always do that for you guys if you guys are interested. But yeah, I also have this new um, microphone fuzzy thing, so I hope that the audio is okay um, compared to the other microphone that I was using. But um, anyway, so today we're going to be doing, um, I guess, a little tea talk of the teas that I drink for the month of December. Um, so I have two um, boxes here. So this one, the Twinings Prince of Wales one, this was um, the teas that I drink at home. And then this one, the T2 Jade Mountain box, um, I just used the box, but this is the teas that I drink at work. And then I did actually have two um, tea tins for this month. So starting off with those, I have this um, traditional afternoon tea that I just um, reused. Um, there's Spongebob there <laughs> on the side, but this one was actually um, a newbie teas. Um, I believe it was like Lions Assam. Yeah, this was just your really um, standard strong black um, Assam tea. Um, so that one was really nice for the mornings. Um, that's usually when I would drink it um, with some creamer. Um, so that was really nice. Um, and the other empty tin that we have is the hot chocolate from David's Tea. This one is a Puer tea um, as well as black tea. It also has cocoa nibs, chocolate chips, um, chocolate curls, and natural flavors um so this one is i think this is one of my favorite chocolate teas um it's a really nice chocolatey and sweet tea um i don't really get as much caffeine i think from this one um mostly because i think when i steeped it up i probably could have added more tea so it was kind of weak but it was good nonetheless so the teas that i finished at work um here they are there's tea going everywhere but um <clears throat> starting off we have a kusmi tea um this was a green tea with um jasmine this one actually was a good um jasmine tea because usually jasmine teas are like really overpowering um so this one is actually really good um and it wasn't overpowering at all a puer tea from adagio teas um i'm trying to get into drinking these in the morning um i probably should have had one this morning because i was feeling a little tired um but this is actually really good with um just a little bit of cream and um it's great in the mornings just to wake you up because it has that little bit of boost of caffeine. I have two of these T2's um, Morning Sunshine. This is a mix of Assam, Darjeeling, and Rwandan Estate Black Teas. Um, this of course was a morning tea as well. It was a strong full-bodied black tea um, that was really nice. I think the first time I had it, it was a little um, bitter because I think I over it by like a couple minutes but the second time i had it it was actually really good t2 christmas breakfast this one um i tried to give it another try because it was the christmas tea um in the advent calendar i think two or three years ago um so it was the tea that you got um on the day 24 i think this one i think this one's not really my cup of tea because um it's almost like spicy um, it says ingredients is black tea, ginger, cinnamon, natural and artificial flavoring, um, and nutmeg. I guess the nutmeg really comes through. It just, I don't know, tastes like too much like potpourri, I guess, to me. Uh, the next tea I have is the Bigelow Eggnoggin. This one um, was a pretty good um, eggnog-esque tea. The eggnog flavor isn't really that strong, but it is there. I think the most that I get out of it would probably just be the black tea flavor um, and the cinnamon probably with a little hint of nutmeg. Tea Pigs English Breakfast. Um, this was a good tea as well. Pretty strong and good for the mornings. Um, I have a Twinings Peppermint Cheer. This one is um, one of my favorite um, peppermint teas, um, like supermarket um, bag peppermint teas. So um, it's a really nice. Um, it's almost like a York peppermint patty, I guess, minus the um, chocolatey notes. So it's just more like a creamy, nice, um, strong and bold peppermint flavor, which I really do like. 
uh, David's Breakfast Blend. This is like a little sampler pack, I guess. Um, this is a really good um, breakfast tea as well. I do like um, starting my mornings off with this. Um, so this one is black tea from Ceylon, Sri Lanka, and Assam, um, which is pretty straightforward. I like that it's um, also organic. So this is a great uh, breakfast tea. Um, next I have a Ceylon Sonata from Adagio. This tasted like your um, pretty standard Ceylon tea. Um, it was really nothing special. Um, again, a good morning tea. Um, I have a couple of these peppermint barks. Um, this would be my second favorite um, peppermint tea from the supermarket um, or bagged. So this is a peppermint tea, of course, that has um, chicory, rose hips, and natural chocolate flavors with other natural flavors. Um, so this is a really nice um, chocolatey pepperminty tea. Um, I think this would be my runner-up for my second favorite uh, supermarket bag peppermint tea. Uh, Royval's Vanilla Chai. This one was okay. Um, I think that this one... Chai's are like almost like a hit or miss for me because sometimes they taste a little bit more towards like pot potpourri, potpourri. Um, so this one was I guess a little bit more spicy. I think I might have one of these um, left in my drawer at work so I might have to try this again um, to see if my um, I guess opinion change for this one. I also have a Sipping Streams Thousand Mile Tea. This is um, a really great um, breakfast tea. This is a blend of um, let me see, just black tea and white tea. Um, Sipping Streams is a smaller tea company that's based out of Alaska, I believe. Um, and I have communicated with them on um, Instagram. And they do have some um, virtual tea tasting um, little info sessions that they hold. Um, I'm not sure how often, but they do hold it. I got this from Sips by. Um, so they definitely did a good job of putting this company um, on my radar. So I think um, once I run low on my tea stash, whenever that is, um, I'm definitely thinking of placing a sh um, order with Sipping Streams because they seem like a really nice company. Um, and they have um, a lot of good blends. I think they also had an advent calendar this year, which was pretty cool. Um, but I didn't get to pick that one up because I had too much. <laughs> I have Yamamoto Yama 2 Oolong Teas. Um, this one is just your standard oolong tea. Um, you kind of have to steep it for a little longer. It says three minutes on the bag, but I do like um, maybe four or five just because the um, flavor, I guess, is a little lighter in this blend. T2 Just Chamomile. This is just your standard chamomile. Um, there is chamomile and nothing else in this. Um, so yeah, it's really good when you're probably not feeling the best. Um, yeah, chamomile is just like a sick tea to me. Um, so like if I'm sick, I tend to reach for it or not feeling too good. Um, so this one was good. Last for the work teas, we have Go Go Goa. This is a uh, black tea with cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, orange peel, pink pepper, and natural flavoring. This one, um, I remember the black tea was really, the black tea base was pretty much what uh, I tasted the most in this blend, but the pepper, I, this one was like really peppery to me. Um, I think it was okay. I tried it without milk, so I think I might want to try it um, with milk or cream next time. So moving on to the second box, this is the box um, of the teas that I had um, at home. I think I was trying to finish up my advent teas. Um, since then, I brought my advent teas to work. Um, so most of what I have here is just the advent teas that I got um, last year. So like this is a dark chocolate orange from David's Tea. Um, that one was okay. I didn't really, I'm not really a fan of orange teas. Um, yeah, it was okay. I think if anything, when I tried it with the, um, I tried it with a uh, cream and it was a little bit better, but it wouldn't be one of those teas that I usually um, reach for on the baby. I have some of these Jeff Kings. Um, these are like um, black teas that are flavored with um, natural fruit flavors. So I have a strawberry and a peach one. Um, these ones I like to cold brew. I haven't had them hot. Um, I don't know how I think they would taste hot. I really do like them um, as cold brews. So um, that's pretty much the only, um, yeah, I guess, way that I've been preparing them. Um, I found this at a local um, Asian store. I found them um, at a couple. So. Um, they're relatively easy for me to get and they're pretty cheap and good. So I do like these ones um, This one is kind of 
<laughs> it's like a little um, cut up because I put it in little spice jars. Um, the teas that I get from my sips by. So this is from the Rainy Day Tea Company. Um, this is Lavender Earl Grey. <sighs> this one I was just trying to get rid of because um, I some lavender i think i like lavender teas when they're more um complimented like on the sweet side um so i know dessert by deb has a lavender coconut macaroon that one is really good um but i think lavender earl gray is probably um they're not really my cup of tea but um it was okay <laughs> Um, I don't think I would reach for that one again um, or reorder it. Sweet Potato Pie by David's Tea. This one is one of my favorite teas um, from David's Tea, especially during the holiday time. Um, I think this was the first tea that I actually ever tried from David's Tea, like two, three, or four years ago. Um, so this one is black tea um, with pecans, rock sugar. Uh, butternut squash, sweet potato, marshmallows, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and all natural flavoring. Um, so this one is really good. I think it tastes, um, I've had this, I'm pretty sure, for the last couple of months, and every time I always describe it as a um, sweet potato pie in a mug, um, which is really good. So I do have like a couple more bags of these because I always need to have this stocked up because um, I don't know. I really do love this tea. This one is the uh, Steep Society it's really small you probably won't be able to see it um it's a moroccan mint which is just green tea and spearmint um so this one was just i guess i would expect it to um, taste like how it sounds so it was just a nice green tea base with um spearmint so it was like a minty tea that was pretty nice these are from my diy advent calendar this year um so i have number nine um pinky up dolce de leche this is a black tea with carob caramel pieces almond brittle pieces safflower petals and natural flavoring um this one was good i had this the other day it was super sweet for sure um, I think um, the teapot I used, I didn't add enough tea, so it was a little bit on the weak side, so I didn't really get an adequate taste of what this is, um, but it's definitely just like a sweet black tea with caramel notes. Uh, Steep Society, um, this was the other tea that I just showed you, um, which is the Moroccan Mint. It's just green tea and spearmint. Um, tastes pretty much how you think it would. <laughs> so these ones now are from the adagio um, advent calendar from last year um so gingerbread this was a really good tea um i was actually really surprised on how much um i like this one um i can't really smell it but it definitely tasted like a really good gingerbread tea um i would definitely reorder this one um this is a black tea with natural gingerbread flavor cinnamon orange and ginger and this one i believe i had with uh, cream and it was really good um, Kentucky bourbon this is a black tea with Kiwoon Concierto tea I didn't like this one this one um, I don't even think I finished the whole cup because the tea was just like too smoky and it I didn't really taste like bourbon it almost tasted like um like how cigars or cigarettes smell that sounds really off-putting but i don't know um that's kind of what that tasted like to me it's kind of like roasty uh smoky but like kind of burnt and bitter um yeah if you like this tea let me know how you prepared it um i was thinking sugar but i don't know this one eh, wasn't really my cup of tea bush blueberry pancake this one was really good um, it was a honey bush tea, of course, with rose hips, apple pieces, maple flavor, blueberries, natural blueberry flavor, blue corn flowers, and vanilla cream flavor. Um, this was a sweet um, honey bush tea that I think was really good, um, especially for the evening time because it is um, decaf. So it was a really nice, like, sweet blueberry flavor. Um, and you didn't really need any extra cream because there is vanilla cream flavor in here. So yeah, I would recommend this one. And the last tea we have is Cocoa Mint Green, which is a green tea that has cocoa nibs, natural chocolate mint flavor, and peppermint leaves. Um, so this was um, almost like those other supermarket teas that I've had. It's um, like a minty, chocolatey kind of tea. Um, but this um, flavor for this one was a little bit more lighter. I think the green tea base you could actually taste, which I kind of appreciated. So yeah, that's pretty much all for this month's empties. Um, I can't believe it's 2023 already. Um, 
let me know what you guys have been sipping on down in the comments and if you found any um i guess new favorites um but until next time that's pretty much all for today and i'll see you guys in the next video bye Oh, 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 oh,